there's one diet change that even on its own without any other changes can have a huge impact on your PCOS symptoms, especially things like weight loss, fatigue, brain fog, joint pain, bloating, and other gut related issues. So if you've been diagnosed with PCOS, here are four reasons that you should try going gluten free. Number one, non-celiac gluten sensitivity affects as much as 15% of the population, which is way more than the number of people with celiac disease. Number two, you're more likely to have a gluten sensitivity if you have an autoimmune disorder disorder, gut issues, eating disorders, relatives with celiac disease, other food allergies, or if you're a woman. If you have PCOS, you'll probably have at least two or three of these predispositions. Number three, gluten affects everyone negatively to some degree. Studies show that gluten increases gut permeability even in healthy people. If you have PCOS, that can be a key driver of your symptoms. Number four, diagnosing gluten sensitivity is really hard. Most medical tests are inaccurate, so this means that there's a lot of cases that remain undiagnosed. Making diet changes is really hard, and quitting gluten can sometimes be the hardest. So the best way to get started is to to try cutting gluten out for at least 30 days. After that, you wanna add it back in and see if you notice any symptoms. Most of the time, people feel better when they stop eating gluten and then terrible when they try reintroducing it, even if they didn't notice that it was a problem before. All you have to do is commit to 30 days. After you feel the difference for yourself, it's much easier to stay gluten-free long-term. If you wanna try this out in a supportive group setting, consider joining my next free 30-day PCOS diet challenge. It includes nutritional video lessons, gluten-free recipes, meal plans, shopping lists, and a lot more. I hope you'll join us.